Hey everybody, Matumbo here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are playing some more historic here on Magic Arena. Now, um, this deck is probably going to be a little grindy. This is not the typical type of deck that we play on the channel, but this was half inspired by um, one of Saffron Olive's videos that he put out uh, today that we were like, oh, you know what? I wonder if we can do that in historic because uh, he played it. He played it in modern, so we just wanted to see if we could do it in, in uh, historic. So uh, right real quick before we jump into today's deck, hey, if you like the video, um, you like the channel, hit that subscribe button. Check out all the cool links below. Hit that like button as well. That's all I got to say about that, but really appreciate it. Join the Discord as well. So um, let's hop right into the deck. We're calling it Emergency Riches. Um, this deck, like uh, like I said, inspired by Saffron Olive's deck today um, or yesterday, since it's going to be, um, be shown on Friday, this deck is trying to win with Revel and Riches. Now, Revel and Riches says that whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, we get to create a treasure token. And at the beginning of our upkeep, if we control 10 or more treasures, we win the game. So we are trying to kill uh, as many creatures as possible. We do want to play against creature-based decks. Um, but we do have a lot of removal uh, in the sense we have four Shatter of the Skies. We have one uh, set of the records. This, is, this doesn't really work with it, but we do need this just in case. We have a couple of Cry of the Cranariums. This also does not work with it. Um, however, again, we really do not want to lose to aggro decks since we are pretty much built to beat aggro decks. But we do have uh, one copy of Languish, give a minus four, minus four to everything. We have three copies of Oath of Kaya. This will deal three damage to a creature, a planeswalker, or whatever we want. Uh, potentially killing a creature, potentially giving us a treasure token with Revel and Riches in play. But um, we can also give them, we can also generate treasure tokens with Smothering Tithe. Now, Smothering Tithe says whenever an opponent draws a card, they have to pay two colorless. Um, and if they don't, we get to create a treasure token. So this is just going to passively, passively be potentially generating us treasures. And also, uh, what we'd really like to do with a uh, Revel and Riches in play is at the end of our opponent's turn, have a little uh, little oh, three mana to fairy out in play with a plus one on him so we can cast uh, anything as an instant, even though we don't need to, um, but we really want uh, our opponent not to be able to interact. Um, have a Smothering Tithe in play, and at the end of their turn, cast Emergency Powers, which is gonna say each player shuffles their hand and graveyard into their library and draws seven cards. So if uh, they, we tap them out or they're tapped out on their turn, we do this at the end of their turn, we're gonna get seven treasure tokens. Hopefully that puts us up to 10. And then just as soon as it's our turn and on our upkeep, we're going to win the game because we have seven, or sorry, 10 treasure tokens. So uh, rounding this out, we have basically just a lot of planeswalkers. We have two copies of Teferi. These are the same Teferi, just different artwork. Uh, we have one copy of Ugin, just in case we get to eight mana and we need it. We have three copies of Narset, and we have four copies of Teferi. And to round it out, four copies of Thought Erasure. And we are playing 26 lands. And because we're playing so many Planeswalkers, we are running four copies of Interplanar Beacon. This might not be right, because we are trying to always cast Thought Erasure on turn two, and this might um, really hinder us, uh, stop us from doing that. So. But again, like I said, this is typically not the type of deck that we play because this is just a um, really just an Esper control shell um, changed up a little bit to try to pull off this Smothering Tithe, Revel, Revel and Riches, Emergency Power shenanigans. So, you know, worst, worst case uh, scenario, because if we can't win like this, we really have to win on, on the back of uh, Teferi, just, uh, you know, ultimating or them conceding because we do that or we have to deck them with this or we have to bolt them every turn um with ugin's plus ability so we really don't have a real true win condition in here other than revel and Richard. so that's going to be the challenge and go ahead and stick through through all the games that we decide to play and please um stay until the wrap up we'll talk about the deck what we liked about it what we did not like about it yeah so let's hop into the games and we will see you guys soon all right jinx what do you think how do you think this deck's gonna do huh we got her in our lap here oh we have some lightning bolt sleeves probably means we're playing against an aggro deck we need to gain life 
Or maybe that's the ultimate distraction. Hmm. I like our land situation, but I don't like our card situation. Uh, what do we do? Oh, again? Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's get let's get punished. Hey, look, it's red. We were right. Should have mulliganed. Should have mulliganed. Uh, wizards or just is it spells? Well, on a positive note, we're gonna be able to drop it to fairy next turn. Might get countered, might not, but at least we'll. Pick three. So I wonder if they have like a dive down or something along those lines. Oh no, just spectacle, huh? Well. They're just going. They're just going straight in for the kill as quickly as possible. Alright, well, interplanar beacon. So sprite comes down, lava runner goes that way, both the sprites come at us, we might see a shock. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Now what? Interesting. Well, we're gonna go for it. I'm gonna have a spell pierce. No spell pierce at all. Okay. Hmm. I guess they were bluffing a counter. That was a bad bluff. Bad bluff. We get to gain a little life here. It's not bad. Gain a lot of bit of life. We'll actually lose lose one here, but that's kind of risky though. Against this deck. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna do it this way. Legitimately thought about shocking to play this, so we would have lost one. But, okay, so the Sprite Dragon's gonna come down and kill Teferi. Oh, look at you. Look at you. So we're going to take two. No. Okay. That was a really good draw. So I really wish we would have drawn a land there. Oh, actually, we have to can't languish here so we have to hmm this is awkward play this we have to tuck right so we know if we don't hit a land then we lose we might lose anyway But having two planeswalkers down is pretty pretty devastating. But they might think that we're a low enough life where we have to. Ooh, damage. So we're at two. Ooh man. You're at two. And plus there. Trust me, I have a plan. Let's skip to the good part. No, that's not exactly the land that we wanted. So if we play Narset, can our opponent give us the win, though? K. 
Can our opponent give us the win? If they don't pay, then I think we're good. Oh my god, it happened. <clears throat> I mean if they have a if they have a shock we still lose, but or a haster. They can draw that dragon and then grow it. Oh. Well, this is good, though. We have the cry. Okay. This is turning out pretty interesting. So, we are going to continue to draw. That's more like it. Keep up the pace. All right. Good, good, good. So now we can afford to hmm. this puts us at four. Yeah, I think this is I think this is okay. This puts us at four. We'll use this. Um hmm. How greedy do we get, though? So we do this. Yeah, this is this is fine. We still get to untap. <clears throat> Okay, so they're shocking for some reason. Yeah, I think we're going to I think we're going to get this one. Actually managed to draw, okay, actually managed to draw some damage. Pretty good opponent, pretty good. No time for a break. That was a good draw. I've got time. Go up to five. Need some, need some cards. Oh, that was a good, that was a good hit. Just to eight. We get more treasures. Oh yeah, scoops, magoops. Good game, opponent. Good game. All right. Well, that was a crazy first game. So let's hydrate. While well, we play against your boy Itachi. Your boy. Keep this. Love to draw a black source of mana here. Another red deck, really? We drew. Okay, well, we're gonna shock. Let's see what they got. It's probably goblins. Bad draw with goblins. Goblins are gruel. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got?
Uh, are you just going to time out? You're just going to rope us on turn two? Come on, man. Oh, finally let it happen. Okay, no, no, no. This is is it. Okay. You're playing the niv mizzet combo. What do we want? I guess they're going to be able to do this regardless. I guess we don't care. No, nope, let's just get rid of... We'll keep we'll keep that land. <laughs> All right. This is gonna be uh oh this is just gonna be one of the chronic ropers who's gonna wait until the very end to make every single one of their decisions. Yep. You see how they clicked? They clicked okay right as their timer went off. This might be a bot. Maybe it is a bot. Because the timing is pretty precise if you watch it. Give it one more turn. <clears throat> One more turn. Right at the end. Oh no, they're just gone. Okay. They're just gone now. And they don't get any of their cool uh, draw spells. So, come on. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Why come play magic if you're not going to play magic? <clears throat> Man, what is wrong with my throat tonight? Well... A win's a win, I guess, but all right, on to the next game. So yeah, so that was unfortunate that they uh, just decided not to show up for game number two. Um, opponent goes first. This hand is kind of eh. I'm going to mulligan this. And... I guess we keep. I guess we're playing a. We're playing a glacial fortress on turn one. Well, unless we get a better land. Not a better land. What are they playing? Okay, well. Hit a potential really good two or three drop here. Obliterator, Remorse, probably take the Remorse. I had Obliterator though. I had Obliterator though. Need another black. Need another black source. We keep it. I think we keep it. Aetherborn's fine. So I think we take the obliterator here. Probably plays the Nixithid here. No? Okay. So 
This will draw one attack out. Ooh, Ugin. I don't think we can take Ugin. I don't think we can take Ugin there. Hey, Jinx. Come to say hi? Come on. Thanks, opponent. We both gained life. Oh, we drew another Teferi? Okay, well. Ooh, Revel and Riches. Take that. I'll take a Revel and Riches. We're gonna cast Revel and Riches next turn. Okay. So we're actually... Oh, man. Well, I think we have to play Teferi here. This actually makes uh, the Nixithid even worse. Um, we're going to put a stop there. We're going to untap, untap. She just knocked down. All right, let's take a look. Oh. Um, I guess we'll keep that. So they probably just kill Little Teferi. Yeah. Killing Little Teferi there makes sense. Play Scavenging Ooze. I'm really surprised they're not... Playing the Nixithid. You know what? That's what it's called, right? Yep, Nixithid. How many creatures are in the graveyard? One. So it can knock Teferi down to one. Which I'm fine with. Yep. You have yourself a five, five, uh, five, five power. That's fine. That's how it was meant. You can have all of our cards. All of them. Take them all. Five's going at Teferi. Do you want me to phase you out of time? All right, well. Let's draw a card. Let's go ahead and languish. This will actually give us two treasures as well. We really just need Smothering Tithe. Okay, you are doing the things. And we'll, we'll go ahead and I can no longer stand by and watch. I'll protect you. We'll go ahead and play another Teferi. Why? Because we have another Teferi. Okay. Every death is an opportunity. That's actually a little unfortunate. Um Okay. Sorry for your loss. All right, scavenging ooze. You know what? I'm not done. So we can pitch this. 
Um, yeah, I'm good with I'm good with this. Uh, sure thing. Uh, sure thing. One, two, three, four. Okay. So Nixith is going to die when we emergency powers. This will actually give us another treasure. That's fine. There's really nothing in there. Lol, we got him. All right, so. We don't care about Liliana yet. No, I am not making we will draw a card. We will cry of the Carnarium. Tap. So we could. You know what? I'm fine with this. It's gonna be a little while, my friend. And we are discarding lands. We are racing. Oh, perfect. So, I mean, now we just wait. Uh, sure. This is kind of, uh, lol-worthy, right? Resolve. Well, you're definitely not going to ultimate your Liliana. That's pretty good. I think we're just going to tap wait for them to tap out for something. How many how many can they pay? They can pay 3. Now we're just going to keep waiting. Going to keep waiting. I mean, we're going to be able to ultimate it to fairy anyway if if not They still can pay for three. I mean, I imagine. I imagine they can seed anyway, right? That actually helps. I don't actually want to. I don't want to play this oath.
Well. Sure thing. Oh, I wish this Narset wasn't in play. Wish this Narset wasn't in play. I guess we just go greedy, right? This is just going to be one of those games. No, I am not making this up as I go. And yep. So we're at 25. This is kind of a crazy game. Um Yeah, I guess They're kind of just forced into paying all of this mana every every turn now. We discard. Sorry for your loss. If you turn the clock, your reality will crumble. Yep. And now we start going crazy. That was a long game. Long, long game. All right, well, we learned a valuable lesson that game. Even though we won, we learned that we can prevent extra card draws with uh, emergency powers with our Narset in play. That's fun. I think we keep this. And we just draw a uh, shock land. Not draw a shock land, but we will just go ahead and play a drown catacomb. So this could be quite a few different decks. This could be elementals, could be gruel, uh, could be the land deck. I was really going to say that one last because I was hoping not to play against it. But. Playing a turn behind curve is not great. But they don't have five mana this turn. So the worst they could probably do is just play an Uro or a Growth Spiral and just keep ramping. So, gotcha. So, land number one, land number two, probably. No, oh, no, just. So they're stuck. They're stuck. I think we are gonna play this. Oh, we're playing Wilderness Rack, are we really? Hmm. I mean, yeah. Floor. Now, why, are, why do people play this deck? They can probably say the same thing about our deck too. They don't really know what we're playing. All right, well you're gonna be paying a lot of mana over there because you you draw a lot of cards. So it begins. So it begins, my friends.
Shall they pay? They shall not. I mean, we're just going to play a Narset, right? This doesn't kill. It just kills creatures. Okay. Um. Well, I guess we just keep that. So they can definitely... Expansion Explosion Narset, but they won't draw any cards for it. And if they cast Uro, they don't get any, they don't get an extra card. Oh, it does kill, I just completely missed each Planeswalker. How did I miss that? How did I miss that? Now you know they're going to start paying mana. Nope. Maybe they just don't know about the other win condition part. <laughs> so I imagine we're going to see an Uro here. X equals three, okay. So we're up to seven. I'm going to go ahead and play this. I don't want to be too low. Yeah, now they've kind of forced themselves into a position where they have to start paying since they gave us... They we're up to seven treasures. Um, okay. So they're just going to kill the Revel and Riches next turn? Okay. Okie doke. We have nine. Your thing, your thing. Sure thing. Again, I don't know why people feel the need to play Wilderness Reclamation decks. Well, we have 10 treasures. What if we just had like a crazy giant X spell, like a Bane Fire or something? I know about one Shatter the Sky because of the Narset that we had. We have so many Planeswalkers that we could draw. Six? Sure. Love to see a uh, emergency powers. That'd be our best draw. Hmm. Okay.
What you got over there, my friend? What you got? Oh, really? Are you scooping? Did we get there by accident? Don't good game us and then sit there. Now we got all the treasures. I'm gonna bring Brazen Bar over. That's what I'm predicting. Nope, you're just giving us more treasures. Well. Sometimes you just draw the revel in riches. That's <laughs> crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah, so... I did not expect to win that game against... the... against that deck. We go first. This is quite a slow hand. We're going to keep because we can turn two fodder race. Hopefully we'll be able to at least surveil into a land, if not just draw one naturally off the top here. Okay, so we're playing against blue-white. I wonder if this is just control. So... is control so wow scoops my goops on the thought of race well sorry it had to end like that guys but these were crazy long games and that's gonna do it for us all right everybody welcome back to the wrap up now we played five games we went five and oh uh, we decided to cut it at five games because the games are so long with this type of with this type of deck um, I'm not a huge fan right now of playing this type of deck. I mean, if you would have asked me like 10 or 15 years ago, this probably would have been right up my alley. Um, but playing this long grindy, um, you know, magic in, especially in historic when there's just so many other cool things we could be doing. Um, I think it's, it's not as fun. It is fun in the sense though, that we do get to try to pull off a crazy combo. We did get to win with Revel and Riches one game. Um, you know, that one game against the, uh, wilderness reclamation deck um, but other than that though it's uh you know we got we had two games where our opponent really didn't do anything uh the one game where our opponent just didn't show up and, and then the other game that last game where our opponent just went you know turn two thought race um and they decided to scoop but we didn't really have anything going on we were actually stuck on two lands so if they would have stayed in the game they probably had a they probably would have had a good chance to win but uh again that's why you probably shouldn't concede for no reason uh, that early on, but they could have been thinking, you know what, I don't want to play against another Esper deck or something along, something along those lines, because again, control on control is just really grindy, and those games can take forever, and they're not necessarily fun. So, but yeah, we also totally forgot that Narset is a Nambo with emergency powers. Uh, it, I mean, it is in a sense where we're preventing them from drawing extra cards, which is really, really powerful, but not when we are trying to we when we want them to draw cards because we have smothering tide in play so that was kind of a mistake that one game we still ended up winning um i'm pretty sure that was the game where we ultimated to fairy and we just got there anyway so but yeah um i i mean the deck's okay um not something i would uh, again play like this again in the future but we wanted to give it a shot again since yesterday you know or today depending on how you look at it since i am recording this on a thursday but um, Saffron, Saffron Olive's deck came out with the uh, the old Revel and Riches Smothering Tithe uh, combo in Modern. But he was doing some other unfair things with um, very unfair cards that cost zero mana. Um, so can't really do that in Historic right now, maybe in the future. So, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. But uh, let me know what you guys think of the deck in the comments down below. Um, again, um, you know... 
magic there's just so many cool things we could be doing in historic um we're going to continue to explore as much as we can so uh we'll have some cool cool decks uh for you guys over the weekend and yeah you guys keep staying safe enjoy your friday have a good weekend and we will see you guys soon remember this channel would not exist without such amazing viewers and subscribers thank you so much for interacting with the channel and helping grow the community and a very big special thank you to the Patreons listed here for supporting the channel.